in a world where a millennial and a non-millennial make a podcast. Live from the Thailand studios in beautiful downtown North Hollywood, it's the Me and Marcus Show. Yes, welcome to the first ever second episode of Me and Marcus. I'm me. I'm Marcus. Good morning. Morning. Saturday. 10.30 a.m. Nice and rainy, beautiful day in Los Angeles. I love it. We need as much rain as possible. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous we day. We need rain to wash all the hipsters down the drain. <laughs> and the smell of pee in Hollywood. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I feel for the homeless, but I'm so sick of breathing pee. <laughs> Just I really do. I want to do everything I can to help the homeless. So I don't have to smell their piss on every <laughs> fucking street I walk down on the east side. <laughs> Just pee everywhere. It's a stench Jesus. of urine. I mean, you know what? I was that guy, so I'm not going to... Fr- you know, I walked the streets smoking crack and drinking 40s, so I pissed in a lot of places, too. So I you feel like what? it's yeah. uh, olfactory. There's that word again. When I was drunk, I Karma. would just pee in public. Yeah, that for a woman, that could be... Uh... Foul. I mean, I'm all for women's rights. <laughs> but just don't pee in public. in public is... Like, because you guys, you have it, you have it easy. You can literally turn around in a corner and no one sees it. Girls, we have look. Like, it's an it's a task. We got to pull shit down. We got to yeah, squat. I, I we mean, can't I, stand and aim. You no, know what I mean, like, but I think you can cut it off quicker than we can. Like stop it. Yeah. Oh no, I've tried. Doesn't work. Yeah, me that doesn't work. I had to piss in my me. car a couple of times when I was driving cross country. Like in a cup. In a cup. Or no, in a bottle. bottle. It was a bottle. Damn. Damn, My, son. It, the bottle had a big <laughs> opening on the top, just so we're clear. <laughs> I, just for it wasn't like wondering. I was dropping a pencil <laughs> in a bottleneck. That's All right, let's, let's move on. Well, so I, I was can't. looking at holidays for day, and I could not pick just one. There's, there, there were, there were, it was a hard list to choose well, from. What's with all the holidays? It's a special day. Are we supposed to buy things for people on these days? I had or? to pick three. So you, you, okay. Are you ready? I, I don't know. I'm going to f- probably feel guilty because I, I didn't get somebody something. Go ahead. Is, it's a pretty exciting one. Happy free dentistry day. Oh, I'm taking advantage of that. For is there sure. a place around the corner? No idea. I got filling. I got all kinds of... Pfft. Call the dentist when we're done recording. Hey, it's free dentistry day. What can we do? I don't know about this area, though. I think there's a lot of credit dentists. I think so, yeah. Credit dentist. Yep. That's where we're at in America. All you right, number credit two. Credit dentist. Go ahead. Credit dentist. <laughs> we have uh, implants that you can put on uh, leeway. Layway? What? What is that? Layover? No, it's you're right. Layway? The second time. Layaway. layaway. What, what? Hold on. I'm, I'm fucking. I see so many random billboards for dental implants, and it's oh, like the oh, worst. Oh, I thought you meant breast or <laughs> ass implants on layaway <laughs> for that Kardashian no. future look you want. You see, like the um, the billboards for like the dental oh, implants. Oh yeah, 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 okay. And it's I've the seen most those. shitty Photoshop job ever. Ugh. Wait a minute. So you get you give them money and you put the dental implants on layaway because is this a cosmetic thing or is it? You make payments. But is this for people that have rotting teeth, like need this, or is it just for looking good, like I think veneers? Like, I feel like people get their teeth pulled and then put in an implant. Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the first world science behind luxuries. It. I just want to get these fillings done. All right. Next I, I think you're case. gonna like this next one. Are you ready? Yes. Happy. I want you to be happy. Day. Oh God. <laughs> I wish I could pull that off. Imagine 10 people coming up to you and saying that. I want you to be happy. Why? Well, really? Because I'm going to go postal if you don't <laughs> stop saying that to me. <laughs> really? That's a day? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Not in our country because that's Fucking, nobody's taking advantage of that one. Yeah, I mean, no one knows about it until now. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that one because it's the antithesis of my curmudgeonly ass. So I want let's you go ahead to be and happy. It. All right. Day. I'm going to be happy. <laughs> I'm going to not load the Tech 9 and bring it out on the road with me. All right. This one's I'm joking. Tight. That's not a funny joke. No automatic <laughs> weapons jokes. Too soon. It's always too soon in I feel America. Like it's like you don't hear enough about those. You know what I mean? <laughs> automatic weapon jokes. <laughs> or just anything about automatic weapons. Tech 9 weapons surprise lately. party. Yeah. All right. M16, this is a good one. Go ahead. Last but not least. Go ahead. 
Happy National Cold Cuts Day. Sponsored by Boar's Head. Listen, <laughs> I, I really, as I said, <laughs> is there any way to get off this planet? You know what? I'm, I will put up with an anal probing to go to another planet. That's I've decided. Fine. It'd be comfortable. I've decided. It can't be that bad. It seems like a lot of people. I mean, there are some people out there that seem a little fucked up from it, but. Oh, for sure. National Cold Cuts Day. Yeah. Just go to Subway, get that cold cuts combo. What if you're vegan? You just tape them. Do you just tape cold cuts to your side to represent if you're vegan? Yeah, you could do the whole Lady Gaga meat dress. Um, meat meat dress. That's right. <laughs> what was that representing? Why did she do that? To not eat meat. To stand out. She to was, stand out. She just out. had this outrageous. But she's style. not vegan. No. So you are she is she like is so. that propaganda for the meat industry? Is I, that why I don't she's know. doing we should, that? We should ask her. I, I would please. Go ahead and I give would her love a call. to have her on. I think she's so amazing and talented. I'm not a guy that would buy her album, but I heard an interview with her on Howard Stern and her gotta Netflix, say, I was kind of blown away. Her Netflix documentary is awesome. Oh yeah, I heard that. I watched it like three times. I heard that. <laughs> okay. I have 15 documentaries before that, but maybe one day I'll watch it. Speaking of famous people, I was looking up what famous birthdays were for today. Okay. They were all YouTube stars, so I don't know who the fuck anyone is. I may. Believe it or not, sometimes I have my finger on the pulse of the newest YouTube stars. It's if like it's Little Pump of- or Little Zan or <laughs> 6 9 or whoever, I don't know why. Bobby Shmurda. You... you how do I know these names? Go ahead. I, I don't know, man. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. What else we got? Who else's birthday? Um, uh, no one that I know or have heard of, but uh, something interesting happened to me this week. What? I got stuck in a Spanglish conversation the other day. Oh, I've had those. And, um, you know, like once I realized that she was committed to having a conversation with me, I was like, all right, I'm going to wing it. You know what I mean? Because I could understand like some things. Like she said, Enchino. So I was like, oh, Encino. Got it. Enchino? You know I mean? Enchino. And I was like, Where okay, was this? she's talking about someone who lives in Encino. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, I understood that part. But, like, it got to the point, like, where she would laugh, I would laugh, because I don't know what the hell she said or what she was laughing about. But I was like, ah. Ooh. But then I realized I was making sounds not in English. You know oh, what I mean? Wow. Like, she you would say something. To, uh... She would say something, and I'd be like, ay, ay, ay. Like, I oh, so you were doing Spanish fucking... appropriation. I was making sound in. effects in Spanish, dude. Wow. I, I do that sometimes. I, I'm like listening to your story. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, wow. what language am I making sound effects yeah, in? Yeah, that's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> I know enough Spanish just to get by because my mother has a house in Mexico. And, oh. and growing I just up saying, here, I wish I knew fluent Spanish. I feel bummed that I don't. I was like, I think no, I no, could still bueno. learn. <laughs> Where was the who did you, who was this person? Was just some random like old Spanish lady who was going to get her her grandchild from it's school. Great. It was hilarious. You know, the worst is when you have to speak Spanglish down in MacArthur Park or on Bonnie Bray to try and get the right deal. Uh, yeah. To try and literally get the right bang for your buck. <laughs> Roca? You have little Roca? Like such Mota. an idiot. Mota, Roca, Chiva. It's hey. like, oh, it, it, it's so humiliating to go down and, and not know a language and know you're just going to get fucking robbed. Yeah. But you're the slave of getting that thing. So no matter what it is, you're going to be speaking Spanglish for it. Spanglish. Oh. And making sound effects in Spanish randomly. I don't know yeah. if I do that when I'm trying to score drugs because that might be uh, that might be grounds for an ass whooping or a pistol whipping or getting I was, shot. I was doing this because I felt bad. Like, I don't know what she was saying. Don't feel bad. And so she's like, oh, yeah. Oh. Don't feel bad, but I do think you should learn Spanish as quickly as possible. I'm get on that Duolingo So we can app. become popular in South America. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what I want to talk to you about. Pacific Rim, that new movie that's coming out. I don't even, yeah. Is it Transformers? I have no idea. The I don't know anything it? about these things. Anything doing to do with robots and movies, I do not watch. They look exactly like I Transformers, and I'm confused. Chelsea, I have principles. I don't watch fucking robot movies. I don't understand. I'm trying to save the arts. I'm not trying to help the Philistines. Oh, the Oscars are tomorrow. That's going to be fun, because we go to Dana's ah. mother's house, and she cooks Stoked. amazing stuff. I have the best extended family 
ever Aww. out of anybody. I'll have an extended family contest and I'll beat you people on every level. Yes. They're so amazing. It's I have like the most amazing so wife many... also. Yeah, she's awesome. I met her. You sure did. Yeah, she's great. She also does hypnotherapy. Nice. And she's she's just really, I can't believe she's with me sometimes, to be honest Aww. with you. She's great. That's so cute. She's the yin to my yang. That's awesome. She's the... She's the dopamine to my dope. Hey. You like that one? There we go. <laughs> it's so cute. She's the chill the fuck out to my neurosis. That was clever. You like that one? That was good. I'm pretty good off the cuff sometimes. Yeah, Roy's pretty great too. <laughs> What's that? Roy's pretty great. Roy's good. Roy's good because he has that deadpan thing. But then yeah. he gets really excited sometimes and it's funny. Yeah. And then sometimes like a grandpa like me, he repeats himself 10 times. It's amazing. But the especially, point the point comes across, so that's all that matters. Especially to me, I think I'm losing my hearing because like he'll say something and I'm constantly like, "Pardon, really? Like I can't hear." Oh, he <laughs> talks low. I don't think you're losing your hearing. Should we introduce our guest? Yes. Oh my god! So we have an amazing guest for you guys. I cannot believe it. We have. Um, God, I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. You may know her as an American radio personality or an actress or a producer or a writer or a singer or an activist and human rights advocate. Multifaceted. Public, public speaker, founder of Kasem Cares and the daughter of the mighty Casey Kasem. Please welcome <laughs> Carrie Kasem. So exciting. It's our studio Hi. audience clapping. Hi, guys. You're wearing my Case and Cares hat. I love I it. I am. I, I am. love it. Rep. Got to rep it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wear this shit <laughs> golfing. Do you? Yeah. I love it. I, I, I wear love this hat, hat often. That was, a good, that was a good intro. Thank you. You look awesome. I'm dressed like a cool soccer dad, but like you look great. Well, you know, I, I, so many of these podcasts are on film mm -hmm. and yeah. pictures, mm -hmm. so I really didn't want to wear makeup today and look nice. I so really we don't get didn't. a selfie with you after this? Is no, that no, no. I put the makeup oh, okay. on. It's oh. just not, it's not, you know, I, I looked great yesterday. I felt good, but mm -hmm. it was my literally uh, fourth state in five days. I've been on planes this entire, I was, okay, so I get up mm. yesterday. Yes. Uh, I get on a plane to Texas, Jeez. get off the plane, across the street from the airport is a hotel. I go across the street to the hotel. There's a press conference. I do a press conference. For about a half an hour, I turn around. I get back on a plane to Los Angeles to make it for work. Oh, <laughs> my God. Wow. That was one day. I was in Maryland, I was in Nevada, and I was in California twice. That's commitment. So, yeah. But what was the you press conference for? There is a uh, judge in El Paso. Uh, Judge Patricia Chu, who's running again, and her comp her opponent is um, running a dirty campaign, and he has uh, he has clients. He's an attorney, and mm -hmm. he's taken these th th his clients' money and put them in his own account. What? Didn't account for it. Didn't write checks out of it. And and the reason why I'm saying this, and I cannot get sued, is it's in his own. Uh, uh, he was he was uh, deposed. Right. Because he's being sued for it. Wow. And he admitted it. And then and now he's he's running a dirty campaign saying this woman is this it's like he she's going he's going after her basically because she's a woman and he doesn't and he do he's he's this he's unethical, yes. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. He's an extremely unethical man. And he got to run uh, he had four hundred thousand dollars to run campaigns, so he did yeah. it all through the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And when it doesn't mean when you see somebody's face over and over again that they're the right candidate. Right. That's so right. I went out there and the news came out and we did a press conference conference with a lawyer that's doing the lawsuit um, with the victims with it. And we said, look, this is who this guy is. This wow. is not somebody wow. that should be. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you stepped up and you, thank you. Wow. You went out there on your own volition. For real. Altruistically. I do. That's, I mean, I don't get paid for any of my, my testifying, what you call unpaid lobbying. I, I go state to state every year, four to five months out of the year. I'm on planes nonstop. I do not get paid. Um, no, that is that is something I'm giving back to the world. That's, that's amazing. Wow, you made the great. news in, in Maryland, right? Yeah. Usually we make the news everywhere we go mm -hmm. um, simply because people loved my dad and they yeah. hated what mm. happened to him. And for those of you who are not familiar, uh, my father was uh, taken from his entire family and all of his friends and isolated. Uh, in different hospitals and different rooms, we weren't. We didn't have a phone number for him. We didn't. Couldn't get into the house. We couldn't see him, and the police couldn't help us. Adult Protective Services couldn't help us. And wow. this can happen to you too. It it, it doesn't happen with. It, it happens more with people who don't have money. Believe it or not. Wow. Um, Interesting. It's spiteful and evil. And then it will happen, of course, to people who have money. But they can't. Police can't help you because 
they're in a residential home. Wow. And if you go and you you knock on a door and the person that lives there doesn't want you in there, you can't force it be, you know, trespassing. Wow. Jeez. So, so yes. they can actually get a restraining order against they you, even though that's your it, blood behind the that's door. Right. That's right. Wow. So and, and the police, nobody will do anything to help you. So I'm changing the law. So I changed the law in California. I changed the law in 11 states. I'm now going federally next yes. year. So I can go federal. Yeah, because going state to state will take too many years. So we're going to go federal yeah. next year. Fantastic. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Cool. Yes. Last show, we were talking about pet peeves. Mm. What are your pet peeves? Um, do you I have just any? heard about 50 of them. <laughs> I, I want to hear more. <laughs> no, I don't. I honestly like that. It's people that hurt actually those people. weren't pet yeah. peeves. Yeah. Those were people legit that beefs. hurt people. That's yeah. what I cannot stand. Yeah. Mm. You know, if you're not helping, you're hurting, and that's, that's what, right. really what what how it is. And you know, people that come in uh, saying I want to make things better, but destroy. Right, and, right. And yeah. that's that's you see that with the sociopaths. That's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah. good. It's not really broad because it's obvious when people are hurting and not helping. Right. I like yeah. that one. Right, right, yeah, right. if you're not. Helping, you're hurting. How do you feel about addiction and what's going on with opiate addiction at this point in the country? It's so sad. It's horrible, right? It's so sad. Do you think the Sackler family should be held responsible for misrepresenting OxyContin? Just out of curiosity, because I you are... I have no idea. You have no idea who I that is. I need to know more about that. No, no you no. don't, because that's my field, and I work in rehabs, and I try to help young guys, because now millennials are dropping like flies yeah, from opiates, true. from horrible. benzodiazepines, and I think I've been afforded the luxury of having long-term sobriety to actually help people. Yeah. So, yeah, it's horrendous what's going on. With all pharmacology, right? It's pretty horrendous. It, big there is some is good, terrifying. but it's such yeah. a tiny percentage of what's terrifying. good. Terrifying. Mm-hmm. Pharmaceutically. It's all, you know, and Stephen King, the guy, you know, who wrote all the best books ever. Yeah, pretty um, much. Yeah. He, uh, he wrote something a couple years ago on his Twitter that said, I really believe now that big pharma uh, is, you know, what keeps television going because every single thing yeah. Every single ad, I mean, I'm paraphrasing what he said, uh, is about big pharma. Pretty Every much. Ad. Mm. Yeah, pretty Every much. Every ad, yep. you know, and... Um, and they target the elderly heavy duty. They target everyone. You could see it. If you watch TV yeah. shows and you look at the demographic that they're targeting, it is so fucking frightening. Yeah. I don't watch TV, and, and I stop watching TV at night, which is the best thing I've ever done, because I go to bed mm. earlier, I wake up, I work out, I feel so much Clearer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so much better. What about Netflix or any of those shows? We do, we do have that's our shows. Fun. And, that's fun. Yeah, that's different, though. That's like, not I'll TV. I'll do something on the weekend or whatever. I'll, I'll order that, but I don't sit and watch TV at night. Yeah, yeah, good for you. No, yeah, I don't either. We don't have TV. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good. We don't have TV. Mm. It's very good. I I watch Netflix. Although Off I do seven. like MT, Me TV because it's all these old sentimental shows. I'm such an old softy for shows like Good Times, What's Happening, oh my, The Jeffersons. I, I, yeah, I used to watch that, you know, 70s, 80s. No, no more. Occasionally. No, I can't no, help I it. I can't watch it. But I do watch, there's great shows on Netflix, and there's mm. a lot of good foreign stuff, too, which I re-Oscar. So, speaking of movies, the Oscars are tomorrow. Are you watching? I probably will. Yeah. Mike, are you watching? Oh, yeah. I mean, we do an in-laws thing that's funner than anything. We all sit around and make fun of the way people Do you do the dress. list, though, of who like wins? I usually do. Yes, yeah, and yeah, one person. Yeah. My Uncle Tony wins every year. Yeah? But he's a theater major, and he's... That's why. He, I don't know. Or he has an inside... For best picture, um, my my top three favorites are, would be Dunkirk, Phantom Thread, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Mm. Fucking fantastic films. Yeah, the the, uh, the ones I did see were three billboards outside oh. of uh, Missouri, whatever, and then The Shape of Water yeah. and Call Me by Your Name. Mm. Um, and I I I I haven't seen the rest, so I couldn't say. Um, I've heard really great things about Darkest Hour, but yeah. Three Billboards is so different Incredible. and so yeah, out there and too. so wonderful. I Frances loved it. McDormand. Is amazing, and she's up for a lead actress. Yes. Yeah, she's great. She's, I she'll hope probably she gets win it. it. She'll probably win it. But let me tell you something. She's against Meryl Streep, though. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Meryl's won so much. So wait, so bad not Phantom Thread, right. Shape of Water, and Billboards. Is that what you guys said? Because those uh, are my no, three. Yeah, but yeah, those are my I three. I haven't seen Phantom Thread. I do want to see it. So oh, it's good. incredible. I heard incredible. some people say, "Oh, it's okay." But it's Daniel a little Day predictable, Lewis. but I don't yeah. care. Daniel Day Lewis is amazing. Yeah, he's one of the best actors in the world. And this is this is last movie. This is his last film. He quit. He's, he's, he he's said done that three film. films ago. BS. Fuck him. BS. <laughs> I mean, I'm I hope sorry. it's not I'm true. So, it's like Jay Z. This is my last album. Really? Three albums ago was your last album? <laughs> well, I love all of them. So. Timothy Chalamet. Have you guys, you know who that kid is? No. no. Okay, first of all, is that he's the guy in Get Out? Uh, no, he's in Call Me By Your Name. Okay. And he did another film. Did at not the same see time. that movie. It is, he is 
so good. Wow. He is so good. And this was a little independent film, like a Lady Bird type film or something, right? And it gives me Mm. chills. That's how good he is. He's so. There's the end scene, the last thing where they run the credits on is even beautiful what he's doing. Wow. Like wow. he's just so in it and you believe him and it's and Call me by your name. Call okay. me by your name. Timothy mm. Chalamet. I think he's phenomenal. I don't know if he'll win, uh, but I just I think he's unbelievable. I thought Sally Hawkins in the Shape of Water was amazing as well. I didn't see it. I didn't see Shape of Water. You know what's water. funny is she had a sexiness in that movie that just blew me away and yeah. she's it's and she's not, not like, she's not like a leading type of like, exactly. like beautiful sexy woman. Exactly. But she there was a sexiness there, of her so, in that tub, oh, that ratty ghetto yeah, tub, yeah. and still made it sexy. Yeah, yeah she's, I, love that I movie. think she's wonderful. Me, Guillermo mm. del Toro. Did yeah, I say she's his name amazing. Right? Okay. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, I thought that Margot Robbie as Tanya was. She was oh, great. I need to see that. Wow. Yeah, I haven't seen it. She wow. was great. She was great. I don't know that if was she'll a great win movie. for it, but she was great. The fact that she's even nominated, I think that's fantastic. I don't know if she'll win. I'm I'm really for Frances McDormand Me too. tomorrow. Me but too. Uh, Me too. Mar- 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 Margot Robbie did a great job. Me too. In that film. I think Frances McDormand's gonna win myself. That's my guess. Um I think that, you know, I loved Sam Rockwell in Three Billboards. <laughs> so He's he did one of my most favorite films. If you've never seen this, please go rent it right now. Moon. Mm. It is brilliant. Oh, like, Moon is really it's Moon is brilliant. deep. Moon is it's, really deep. It's yeah. So yeah, I have chills really talking about it. Yeah. A lot of people didn't see it. It is from years ago, but he is I, I don't want to give it away. But yeah. this guy in Moon, he's when when I fell in love with Sam Rockwell. Yeah. Watch this film. It'll blow you away. People who like sci fi, but yeah, just no, a Moon good is really story. deep. Moon yeah. is good. Oh, it's good. Yeah. What's the other one he nice. did where he played Chuck Barris? Oh, 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 oh. So um Oh God, that was so good in the seventies. And he was like, Okay. What, so what good. Was Which Chuck movie? Barris was a huge yeah. not a conspiracy theorist. I think he had uh, paranoid schizophrenic. Yeah, but mm. damn it. What is that? What's it called? The Chuck we can just See, look it up. You should Chuck have a Barris better memory than me because you don't eat wheat, so yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> you don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna look it up. While I'm looking that up, you guys continue with the uh well, yeah, I'm stoked on the Oscars. We're um, we're doing the list thing as well. I didn't know about it. Roy Roy was like, "Yeah, we're gonna we oh, you, pr- you printed yeah, out the yeah, list yeah. thing." Absolutely. Is so, there a pool? Confessions Is there an Oscar of a pool? dangerous there, mind. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Confessions of a dangerous mind. People, yeah. millennials. Very good. Anybody very, who hasn't seen very, this? Very good. Sam Rockwell kills it. It's a taste of old Hollywood. There was very a show good. called The Gong Show on years ago. Mm-hmm. A lot of people probably don't know about it. Is it still playing it's though on like Nickelodeon The Night or like a... It could yeah, be. Yeah, I think so. Oh, um, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. One nice. of the best shows ever. Nice. The funnest show. They need to bring something. Well, they do. I guess it's well, called name, The Voice. Name That Tune's coming back. Really? Mm-hmm. Name That Tune. Huh. God, that's something I really grew yeah. up with. That's like the Groucho show coming back for me at this point. Oh, my God. <laughs> Enjoy. Mm. You need to tell your co-host Chelsea Meher to start singing and, and playing her guitar. And <laughs> I've told her this since I've known her. She's one of the best singers, and she doesn't keep her voice up. And if she did, yeah. she literally she could win American Idol. She could win. You should be on The Voice. She plays a guitar and she sings. Okay, like, there's no excuse. Have for you not seen doing her? This. No, that's the first time I even heard it. What? No, no, that's not what she's. She sounds like. I mean, she has a voice that's like. Uh, I, what would you say, Sia? What? Uh, wow. Yeah, no, no, Why and this is not? no joke. Okay, Shut up, you know yeah. you sing. She sings, she's the only one when we go to karaoke that can even attempt to do Sia, and then everybody when she's doing it is like, there's not, nobody's talking. They're wow. just watching her. Yeah. So, right, but I don't understand this. with this talent. If I had your talent, I'd be fucking famous. I'd be so fucking famous. It what if we do funny. like a Tenacious D thing where we just you make should. up funny songs? Yeah. That we'll do that in the future. We'll, I'll, I have funny lyrics I can write the for a funny song. The anthem is the best. Like, this is the best song in the world. Yes. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Jesse does that at karaoke. It's hilarious. <laughs> so what is a fun fact that no one knows about you? Oh, wow. Fun fact that no one knows about me. I was a competitive horseback rider. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's right. about that. That's right. Yeah. Or Did the that? fact that you're an amazing singer as well. It Not, sounded yeah, like I do it. Broadway. I do Broadway stuff. I it's very different voice. So you're a showbiz Chelsea. kid. You grew up in showbiz, and you no, were no, also... I didn't. I was kept away from it as far away oh, from wow. it as possible. That's yeah, my so dad well did adjusted. not. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, another thing too. People always think I'm a trust fund kid or I have all this money. So when I try and raise money for my foundation, they think mm. I have it, so they don't give it to me. This is uh, no joke. And well, I read up. something way different than that, so yeah. I know you're not a trust it, fund it, kid. Yeah, well, it looks like I have like no joke. It says. Carrie Case and Worth, $20 million. Take that down. <laughs> Take that down. I oh will be one God. day, but that's not what, right, you know, right, I don't have right. that right now. And 
So it's that, apparent it's that you're self-made to me. Thank it's you. a very apparent yeah, that you absolutely. hustle and you work your ass off. I do. And all the service you work you do comes back to you in spades, I'm sure, on a lot of levels. It does. It does. It makes me, I'd rather give than get. It makes me so happy to give, yeah. you know? It makes me happy, too. Yeah. Because yeah. when I think too much about myself, I have a really bad day. If I'm thinking about others, it makes oh, the day a lot yeah. easier, right? Yeah. I, I get excited to give things to people that I've created or that I've done or something yeah. that, you know, makes, yeah. me, makes me really excited. That's it's so great. awesome. Yes. You're, God, you're such an awesome person. Yeah, really awesome well, guest. Thank Thanks for kicking all that down. <laughs> you could be it, it, huge. Yeah. I, I told her that when I first met her. And I even I even loaned her my, my camera and lights. Yeah. She wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Yeah. That's all right. She's going to start doing this it. This is the year. You have to. This is the year. This is my year. I asked her if she was a musician. She's like, well, sort of. <laughs> There's no sort of. You, you either is or you ain't. Come on, sing right. a little Sia. I'm Come alive. on, please. Come on, I'm just gonna, a little. I'm going to blow up. We're going to go out no, with no, that. Let's go out back. with that. Come on. Let's go out with that. Come on, we're alive. She's exposed I'm herself alive. completely. You need Come to on. do the I'm same. Come on, I'm so sad. Come on. Mm. Just sit back and sing a little. See, I will. I would, but I'm just going to It's your edit first it podcast, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just going to edit it out. Why? It's our second, no. but it's our just first guest. Okay, whatever. You're, you're first guest. guest. So then I'm asking you to sing. You, you can't to come down deny here. a guest request. And don't cut it out. I'll be it's an so unwritten mad. podcast I don't, rule. So That's I don't think when I'm BS. <laughs> people love talent and they love music. Most of the time, we want to see that side of Chelsea. Of the most important things so I may, I'll make a like, deal. I'll just make a separate video of me singing it. Sing something now, just real quick, so people know it's you. <laughs> and then you can make a separate video and put it up. You already sang with her anyway. You might right. as well go I solo. Think, I think we nailed it. No, no, no. I don't, I'm not trying to. You No, now Come you're going to go solo. Yeah. So please do it. Go, go, go. I'm still breathing, I'm still breathing, I'm still breathing, I'm still breathing, I'm alive. There we go. How That's dare it. you <laughs> not see and want to do that? It's Sia. And you I just got hear, chills. No, no, you should hear it. Dickies even goes higher than that. And and she hits you're not every that out. single. Uh, no, 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 you're not cutting that out. If you cut, you that can out, cut out I'm other so little mad. parts, you're not cutting that out. All right, deal. Chelsea, that is so good. It's incredible. You have to start pursuing this, please. I'll work on it. Because on a selfish enough, note, I, it'll help me and it'll help our podcast. Yeah, no, I think we need. An, I think we need an intervention. <laughs> intervention. Hey, on, you're Chelsea. a singer. Start singing. Yeah. What are you Did doing? You quick, what let, are you afraid of? Let me yeah, just ask right, you this. You're right. You're right. Let me just ask you this, and we'll cut it out if you're not coming. Did you ever hear your dad lose it on somebody? About the at, about the dog story, and they no, weren't giving you know him the proper so copy. Is, it is so funny. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And he even laughed at that. Look, he, oh, was okay, like, he was at the worst time of his life. He's getting a divorce from my mom. There was in, they were in uh, court. Okay. I mean, he was like in the it worst. It makes sense. Yeah, because that's not my dad. So no, of right. course it isn't. And, and he's but had it's a couple. So good. Everybody has a couple meltdowns, but he's like, whatever. You know, he's human. Well, because he has one. Orson Welles has one. Yeah, everybody uh, has one. Uh, uh, what, uh, Captain Kirk. Captain got Kirk. Captain Kirk. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? You know what? The biggest. The biggest thing that I how I live my life and it's so awesome because I spoke in front of all these people and then what 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 I I started to get what they were taking from my speech and it was a quote I've used for the last 15 years and it's do the opposite of what fear is telling you to do Mm -hmm. say it again do the the opposite opposite of what what fear fear is telling you to do do. that's right and I've had people write that back as like my quote as yeah. my quote, I'm like, wow, I have a quote. You know, I've been using that forever. Yes. You know, and also the other one, the same amount of time, I've said this too. Do not cater to the lowest common, common denominator. denominator. Let them rise. Right. It will help you and it will help them. I've yes. always said, yes. you know, I'm the biggest fan of that. Do not cater to the lowest yeah, common for denominator. Sure. For you sure. Do. You'll go down raise there. Raise your behavior to your consciousness. Mm-hmm. Don't lower your consciousness to your behavior. That's right. Fuckers. That's right. Yep. That's right. You okay? And anybody this. who wants you to come down there. She's getting me yeah. going. <laughs> Let's make placards and hit the street. Yeah. I'm saying. So, Carrie, <laughs> yeah. you have a boyfriend. I do. The amazing Jesse Cove. Yes. How'd you guys meet? We met at a play. We met when he was extremely young. He was 19 years old. Yeah. And uh, I actually met another guy at the same time and ended up dating him. Mm. And he was dating a, a woman, and, and, and he dated, I think, five or six women in the next two years to come. Mm. And we stayed friends. We stayed friends, and we would all go out with you know him and his girl, and me and my guy. I had I had two boyfriends during the, the two period two year period. Then we both ended up single. 
a couple of years out, you know, later. Yeah. And he said, I have screeners. And that's, you know, movies you get from the Academy right. that are out yeah. the theater. But mm-hmm. he's like, I'll come over and, and bring them. And I said, That's All the right. real Netflix oh, and chill, yeah. by the way. When you have screeners, that's oh, your almost Netflix in. You're guaranteed in. It's the best. So so he never left my house. And that's oh. no joke. From that day forward, he never left my house. Wow. Yeah, that was it. Nice. He was just How long has it been? Off. We've known each other seven years, five, a little over five years. Relationships are not easy. No, they're no. not. No, they're not. And if you say they are, you're full of shit no, or you're right. asleep. They're or you're easy, just but living in fantasy also, world. Yes, but they, they can also be really wonderful. Unbelievable. Yeah. And Ten really years. great. And to have, yeah, to have that person. Yeah, somebody said this, and I'll, I'll tell you, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And it was, oh my gosh, what's her name? She's on, she's... The, I don't even need to get into it. Anyway, she's 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 a friend of an actor who's on my a show I love called Younger, mm-hmm. and she's into like uh, yoga and this and that. So I followed her for a while, and her and this actor, uh, they're both. Or bisexual or gay, or they identify as gay, and and I think he's bisexual. He's he's come out as bisexual, but they say that they're each other's witness. Mm. It's like I'm your witness. I'm your. Wit-. I'm like, why do they keep calling each other's witness? Huh. He's my witness, yeah. and it's like I'm a witness to your life. Oh wow! I'm a witness to your life. I've been with you so long. I know who you are. I've witnessed everything you've gone through, and wow, I thought that's deep. that wow. is so. It's cool. kind of cool. Yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. So and it's they, the truth. And it's like you. Yeah. So when you have somebody with you that long, they are your witness. Yeah. And They're you guys everything. are both independent, yeah. the obviously. Witness. You're the partner. You have to be. It, it, you know, if you're waiting, I, I was listening. I, I, I spoke in front of 10,000 people last week at, wow. at, at Mandalay Bay. Uh, I did one of my like motivational speeches, and I and I spoke yeah. in front of 10,000 people. Jesus and there's Christ. another one. There was only three women, or three or four women that spoke, I think, and then 16 men. Wow. And it was the biggest motivational speakers and big business gurus, billionaires, Damon John, Grant Cardone. Um, Jordan you know, Belfort? I don't know if Jordan did Fuck about that no. guy. <laughs> but anyway, just really big. <laughs> and uh, and I, 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 I was listening to Jordan Elena Cardone. Belfort. If you guys want inspiration daily and the most incredible two married people that I've ever met in my life, Elena Cardone and Grant Cardone, period, yeah. hands down. Watch them every day. Your life will change. That's, it's, that's the truth. Wow. You, you will become uh, yeah, a better husband, a better wife, uh, a better business person, period. Wow. You just will. It will happen. I need all those things in good my life. Know. Actually, Grant I'm a really Cardone. good husband, Follow Grant but I could Cardone. always be a better yeah. husband. You Grant can always be a better yeah. everything. He's amazing. Yeah. So, so she was talking about the fact when they got married. She used to be her. Her father taught her how to shoot, uh-huh. and she was um, an incredible marksman. And she did a lot of competition. Wow. And she was rated. She's one. I mean, Skeet, professional. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Okay. She's incredible. She looks like Angelina Jolie. She's stunning. You, wow. You'll see her. She's so gorgeous. It's crazy. And she, when she got married, yeah. Uh, it, first of all, it took her a year to go out with Grant before he asked her every single year. Holy shit. Every, I mean, I'm sorry, every single month until she went out with him. Wow. And she finally went out. They, Persistence. They he was very persistent. So they get married. And she, she said, and she's talking in her speech about this. She said, you know, I, I Grant Grant was a hard, very hard worker. <laughs> he came from nothing. He was he came from a single mom with his twin brother and his sister and no dad. Self made. Self made. He was he got hooked on drugs. Ah. He went down the drain. And wow. This guy could have gone south and in jail. Mm-hmm. And sure. he d- built himself up. He started selling cars. He became the best car salesman to where that car dealership said, "Whatever you're doing, can you train the other people?" Wow. Okay, can you train our big offices? Can you? And so he started talking in Holy front of people. Shit. And he then started buy, buying real estate, became a real estate mogul. He's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. He's, wow. he's going to be a billionaire. Wow. It says right, r- working his way. He's almost at a billion. Wow. What? So yeah, and he, from nothing. For a guy that was I a drug addict. I don't I'm not even know if he has a high school education. Right. This guy's. This guy came from nothing. Wow. And he's wow. Unbelievable. So yeah, but some drug addicts are the smartest, craftiest. Yeah, people any, I've anybody ever met. can get hooked on drugs. It doesn't matter yeah. your IQ. Anybody, no, none of that. Anybody. Yeah, it has nothing to do with it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, um, so he, he, him, and his wife have this incredible bond. And mm-hmm. she's saying, you know, when I got married, you know, he would work all day long, and he wanted to play video games with his twin brother. Mm-hmm. And I felt left out. I felt bored. I was upset. I, I kept figuring, you know, to tell him, I'm, you know, uh, can you please come home earlier? Can you please spend time with me? Can you please? She's yeah. like, that was a hole in my life mm-hmm. that I was yeah. trying to get him to feel. Phil, wrong. Do not get your partner to fill your holes. Now, right, if your partner's right. not paying well, attention to you, there's certain time. things. But yeah, if you have a wonderful relationship and this guy just needs his time with you know playing his video games or because he's working his ass off, right. um, she said, "Well, what am I missing in my life?" Mm. And she said that when she got married, she realized that she gave up guns because guns were with were, were with guys, and that it, it was inappropriate to hang out with the guys when you got married. Yeah. She's like, "Well, Grant never told me that." 
Grant never said to stop shooting. Grant never, wow. he trusted me and he should trust me. And I trust him with everything. You either trust or you don't. That's if right. If you don't get the hell out of the relationship. That's right, 100%. Now. And she said, Agreed. so she started, she's like, you know what? I started my competition. I started getting out there again. She's like, that was something I did with my dad. That was something that made me happy. Right. That was, and wow. she started doing that. She started doing her own thing. And she's like, when they were together, it was amazing. But she didn't expect him to fill the hole anymore. Right, right, right. Well, I, thought that I just amazing. learned so much. Ha, ha. I'm sorry. Ha, that's ha, amazing. Ha, 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 ha. What am I supposed to do? Oh, God. So listen, what, so that is about also really nurturing that kid a little bit that that really enjoyed doing those things growing up mm. whether it's shooting whether it's go-kart racing whatever like it i think be, yeah. yeah i think that when we step away from that that creativity the trade the craft whatever it is yeah that's when we become damaged adults that's my experience anyway yeah if i'm not doing improv or doing fun stuff or writing putting a book out whatever there's a part of me that starts to shut down i really believe that and i think it's so important to own your creative skills right you have to and and that you know i was i was doing a lot for my foundation and i was on a plane one or twice a week and I was giving yeah. back giving 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 but I noticed I wasn't giving to me on my creative side yeah. so I started singing again I started yeah. you know taking See. the theater again I started and I felt so so much better that yeah. I could give more that I could give more and I didn't feel like oh I'm resenting this now you have a radio show I do I have two I have a um, a mortgage this is real fun too <laughs> So Are terrible. you saving people's mortgages? <laughs> oh my god! I I've love you. Mortgage, I wish I would have met you ten years ago. Mortgage finance. <laughs> when I lost for, my house. Yeah, almost eleven years now. Wow. Uh, yeah, eleven years and maybe twelve. Wow. And so I've been doing that, and that's syndicated. It's all over the country. It's called Get Mortgage Fit. And then I have a local law show, Gervy's Law. Nice. Yes. And then I do when they hire me every once in a while. I do something called Red Carpet Radio. We're on the biggest red carpets in the country. I did three years. I was on every single red carpet, and yeah. so that was fun. I got, yeah. got to meet everybody I pretty much wanted to meet, and I got to interview people. That was really fun. Do, walk the biggest red carpets. That was super fun. You um, looked amazing. I remember seeing the pictures. You. Yeah, it was so fun. So fun. But yeah, what what I'm really looking forward to this next year is I, I started with podcasting a long time ago when. I was doing 97.1, the FM talk station. Yeah. I was on the station for six, seven years. Um, I had my own show there. And then I would fill in with Tim Conway Jr., who's unbelievable. This guy is so good. So mm. we would fill in. I'd fill in for his show. I'd fill in for, you know, different shows on that station. Nice. And... And I, and I was working with Ricky Rackman, who still does Racing Rocks. I did that show for Cat seven House. years. Cat oh, House. That's right. Great spot. Yeah, he did. Um, for great those of you who spot. are not millennials and you're super old like me, <laughs> um, he he did um, MTV. He sure did. Headbangers. Nice. Yeah, Headbangers Ball, one of yeah. the best. Yeah, so I, I worked with him for seven years, and I did National Lampoon, and I, I then... I, from, did National Lampoon? Yeah, I did, a, I did a radio show for them. It was really fun. Sick. Yeah. And then, and then I went to... Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and I did a political talk morning show where I was up 3.30 a.m. every morning. Wow. Every morning, and I got the hell out of there after. Like uh, Air America style? Thank you. What was yeah, it? done. It was, no, it was conservative, super conservative. <laughs> uh, and so I, I just, I, I wanted to do something that really filled my soul, and yeah. that's when I started podcasting. It's like 2006, 2007, one mm-hmm. of the first, and I loved it. It was called The K-Pod. Nice. Yes, that's yes. fancy. Yeah. So I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing nice. my my podcast back. It's going to be, you know, super motivational. People that I find to be interesting and awesome. Nice. Uh, yeah. I do. Um, there's going to be an offshoot of it, and people for literally since 2007 has asked me to bring this back. It's called the Red Pill Podcast, nice. and it's all conspiracy theories. And Ooh. I have a guy that's like black ops that comes on. He won't say his name. He won't say anything. He will He will call from different parts of the world, from tunnels, from everything. It's insane. We just call him Conspiracy Man. I fucking love it. I got a hold of him. Did and you? I said, would you come back and do the show again? And he's like, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll do it. I'll not do every it. conspiracy nice. is a conspiracy, too, right? It's big in my no, language. They're not. And that's that right. they're called conspiracies because right. people, it's right in your face. The right. proof is there, but nobody's going to listen. And they're easily mm-hmm. dismissible when you mm-hmm. say the word, because it's another buzzword that people are like, oh, fuck that. It's not real. That's right. Yeah, it's great. That's right. Good. Yeah, so Our aliens are aliens real. <laughs> we need another conspiracy I show it. because poor Jesse Ventura got flushed down the toilet <sighs> when Chris Kyle lied about him. You know that story, right? I, no, I don't know about But Jesse Ventura is amazing. He's amazing. He's a badass. Would He's you please amazing. have him on your show? Yeah, I'll, I will. <laughs> Would you ask for him? I will. I will ask him. Love ask that, him man. to be on the show. He's he's awesome. Isn't he great? He's 
awesome. He's the first one that saw all the, what they call the FEMA camps. I mean, internment camps for Americans right. all mm. over across this country. This isn't a conspiracy. They're there. Just look them up. Right. Look up FEMA camps. It's like, well, if you're, if this is a time of disaster. Can we see them on Google Maps? Yes. We can. I think you can. Would you please I, give me the you coordinates? Know what? <laughs> if you look up FEMA camps, I think, I think the one in, 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 uh, there's one in Georgia that I know of and one in, in the one he went to, there's Alaska, but he went and he's like, well, if this isn't intern, if this isn't intern, if this is to keep Americans safe, then why can't people get out? Why is all the doors locked from the inside? Why is there barbed wire? All right, I got to see you, these. Oh, you have to see it. Because so, I don't believe you, but I want to see them and then I'll believe you. Oh, no. Is Jesse that okay? Ventura did a whole thing on it. You can look up look up YouTube right now. Okay. I'll Jesse look Ventura it up. FEMA camps. You all won't right, believe I it. Swear you won't look believe it. It looks like, I mean. You kick ass just for the red. fact that you're doing it. It's called the Red Pill. Perfect The game. Red Pill Podcast. And nice. it'll be me and a woman named Ashley Marriott and nice. Conspiracy Man. Yes. I yes. love it. I yeah. cannot wait. Hey, subscribing. Yes. Yes, I'm subscribing. When yes. does that start? Um, we're starting it this month, so I'm, nice. I, I've been, yeah, I've, I've been approached we'll by a few it. different, yeah. thank you, by a f- few different really big podcast people, yeah. like radio podcast people. Good. Yeah, so I'm waiting to see, and we're, we're, we're working out stuff, but I'm going to start it yeah. because I have so many followers, and I'm going to be like, you know, Will you please have Art Bell, it out. Art Bell on your show? <laughs> I, I've been listening to him for 20 something years. Isn't that crazy? I mean, and now I'm friends with George Nori. So I've George been friends Norrie's with George forever. So you get, you have access to these people. It's I great. love George. I talk about George. George is great. Yeah. yeah he, he goes back and forth to St. Louis and he's, he's, he's awesome. I love him. Um, yeah. So I, I love radio. I love doing it. So it's going to be that. And then I have another show. I'm going to do two podcasts. Nice. Um, ageless and healthy. So if you want to know, uh, about all the lies everybody tells you about how they just use cream and drink a lot of water to stay young, which is BS. I'm going to tell you <laughs> the real <laughs> tricks of the trade, the Botox, the fillers, the lasers. I'm going to show you how to do, get looking 10 years younger. Do you believe in all that? Zero. Botox fillers. I, it's all the- in my face. You told me I looked. I didn't look 45. I have okay, my own yeah, faces you have filled good with that. Botox fillers right. because and that's I what have I needed no to, right. Nobody knows. clue. That's right. I don't want to look like a housewife. But what is, your ethnic, what is your ethnicity? <laughs> no, no, no. I look better now than I did at 27 years old before I started doing this. You look incredible. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I don't look my age. Um, and, and, but so many people lie about mm. so much stuff. I'm so sick of it. Especially I talk about town. everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. And, and there's, I mean, it should, you know, people like their hair to look good. People mm-hmm. go to the gym. They don't lie about that. That's Your right. body doesn't look that great without, you know, the gym and people are proud of that. Mm. Well, it's like, well, you get your hair dyed. We know your hair is gray at 50. Mm. Well, what, you know, where are the wrinkles with this? It's a little Botox, a little filler. You do not overdo it or you're going to look like a clown. Mm. Good. I was just having this conversation with my wife this morning They're everywhere because here. we were like, it's a little overkill sometimes. And I was like, well, what about a little? And she's not about it at all. She's kind of a purist. And she was like, no, not for me. And then I was like, there has to be There's some terrifying a low level. Zombie looking people looking out yeah. there with like no, these see, giant I move, lips. I can move my face. You move your face. <laughs> Don't look you know? like the Joker. No. Yeah. And, and there's a way to do Botox where you can move your face. Right. And you know, nice. you, you freeze everything. You're going to look Foolish, frozen. frozen, right? And frozen. You do your lips Let so big, it, you, it looks horrible. So you've got to do it oh naturally. And I'm going to tell. And people I mean, you how know what? That. People are going to do it regardless, so they might as well do it the right way, especially in this town. So yeah. what? Not a better rep yeah. spokesperson. Oh, I'm going to talk Carrie. about everything, everything, and then health because you do have to have your health. Are you vegan? For, I was vegan for 24 years. I'm now strict vegetarian. With I do have eggs. You were vegan for 20. Wow, that's years, OG yeah. vegan. Yeah. I yeah, don't right? even. Oh yeah, I have one friend that's been vegan since he was born. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. So what changed you up? We lack of protein. Yeah. I w- I'm allergic it's to always soy. The story. I'm allergic yeah. to wheat. Um, I, so you what, don't eat soy or wheat? No. And I don't eat sugar. And Zero you, only sugar. Knew you, were, you only knew you were allergic because you stopped eating it and then you started again, right? Well, I started doing research because they told me I had ADD, which I don't mm-hmm. believe in ADD and I don't believe in ADHD. I think it's a Bullshit. And let me say that again. Bullshit diagnosis. <laughs> I walked into a psychiatrist for 20 minutes, and this guy told me I had all these mental disorders. Right, right. right. Mm. Not once did the guy ask me, how's your health? Do you have any uh, deficiencies? See. Mm-hmm. Do, what, do you have any allergies? Nothing. So I'm on this medication for a couple weeks. And I'm like, I'd of rather course. die than of course. continue this So it was crap. like speed. They just go yes. straight to giving you pills. But pills. And then, and then and here's if, this is, if, if you can't sleep, here's some of this. And for the depression, speed here's some of this. Yep. I felt like I was going crazy. Yep. So I went back to him, like, keep your effing pills. And I started researching ADD and, and looking at the fact that, you know, sugar 
some people can handle it. Some people can't. Right. I couldn't. My yeah, brain me, couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't. I function. I was up and down. I felt bipolar. I'm like, right. cut the sugar. Irritable. Cut it out. Right. Now, sugar also is in form of carbs. I was eating tons of carbs. I mm. cut way back on the carbs. Literally no processed sugar. And, and cut out the fruit. And once in a while, I have some fruit. Once right. Fruit. But, yeah. So I got rid of that. I was allergic to wheat. And the only reason I knew that is I stopped eating gluten for a month. My skin cleared up. Wow. I had these little bumps on my skin. Gone. I tried to eat it again. I had cramps for three days. What? So I'm off of the gluten. Then the well, soy. Well, gluten, it, that's a real thing. And again, yeah. that's another thing that yeah. people dismiss. Yeah. No, Celiac it, disease, right? Right. I mean, that's the highest level That's of the it. highest level. But people mm-hmm. don't understand that. You don't have to be allergic to gluten for gluten to cause inflammation in your brain. Wow. It is causing inflammation all over your body. That's and horrifying. especially in your brain, which is causing Alzheimer's, which is causing dementia. <gasps> There's a man named Dr. Perlmutter. And this book is incredible. It's called Grain Brain. He has been doing studies along with his dad, who was a neurologist before him, who got Alzheimer's. They've been doing studies on this. They showed that the amount of carbohydrates, and especially gluten, affects the brain, literally turning it into mush. Wow. So, yeah, so, and, and people think, oh, Fuck. gluten, it's, it's BS. Yeah, yeah. You wa- look no, at, it's look not at, bl- Look BS. at our society. We are, the, we have more dementia right. now than ever, yeah. right. and it's starting younger. Also, autoimmune yeah. diseases. And mm. he's saying the autoimmune diseases are from all the pesticides, the processed food, everything we're eating. Mm. So I, this is something I'm going to be talking about on Ageless and Healthy, wow, my podcast. this is great. I'll do a little on My ca- wife will love this yeah. podcast. She's all about it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Pamela, you know who Pamela Saltzman is? She's a no. big Pamela Saltzman fan. I don't She's know her. amazing chef. Awesome. Wow. Sorry, I just had to drop the Pamela Saltzman because it's healthy eating and she has a cookbook. And Which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it's people, you know, then, then they get sick and then they want to do something about it. It's prevention now. Right. Yeah. There's also, if you're listening and you have a family member that has Alzheimer's, um, there's a book by one. Dr. Dale Bredesen. It's called The End of Alzheimer's. He's literally putting wow. Alzheimer's in remission through diet. Why, it's, he's in UCLA. This is no joke. This isn't crack. This is like a you know crack science. He wrote a book, The End of Alzheimer's, Dale Bredesen. Pick it up. It will stop or slow down the Alzheimer's. Wow. He Holy has been shit. known to stop Alzheimer's out of UCLA. I believe it can be done. Yeah. I wow. believe any disease. I'm sure some of them, they keep going so they can make tons of money. Of course. Come on. Yeah. That's, of course, what's happening. Restless yeah. leg syndrome. Yeah, I feel like they can find a cure for <laughs> cancer, <laughs> but they just don't want to lose the money. Well, in, in other yeah. countries, um, they have better ways besides killing, trying to kill you first to kill off the cancer first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have other ways of attacking tumors. There are certain tumors that you can actually just, and not all cancers, but there's certain tumors that um, you can stick uh, baking soda in and they disintegrate. What? Yeah. There are certain tumors. I mean, and I'm not saying this is all. There's just certain. Um, there. If I told you all the research that has been destroyed on cancer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, in the name of big business and saying you, this isn't right, they there's um, biofeedback machines that were curing cancer. Wow. wow. Dr. Reif. And they went in there, destroyed all of his work, called him a quack, and discredited him. If you say you, you have a cure for something, you'll be thrown in jail. Yeah, in, in of America. course. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Ridiculous. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, no, the, uh, homeopathy gets laughed right out immediately. Yeah. Socrates. Right. Socrates said, let food be thy medicine. And we are so far away from mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. It is, it's pathetic. And people, it's, it, look, I'm not saying anything against Western doctors. There's a lot of good no, medicine there's a lot out of good there. Western doctors yeah. need, out there. there is so, and, and you need it. And, and we need it, but we need it to, with Eastern medicine. We need it with Absolutely. holistic. You need yeah. to do a combination of it. Can mm-hmm. I tell you a quick story? No. Yeah. So I was doing Bikram yoga for years, which, by the way, that guy's a total piece yeah. of shit. Oh, my, my, the worst. oh my God. The my worst. Even, after yeah. him. My yeah. roommate. Good for is her. Him. She He's a sexual for predator of the worst. Crime Watch level. Daily, and they were trying to do a. Uh, <sighs> They're trying to do a... Uh, do you heard his interview on that sports oh, yeah. show, right? No, he's insane. Where a drop of his sperm is worth $5 million. He's insane. Ew. He's insane. So they, they went down there and they sent somebody... There was somebody down there that was trying to serve him. And right. the guy got beaten to a pulp. So they didn't... Oh, what? so he has his little... His uh, Bikram Mexico, henchman. In Mexico. Oh, he lives in Mexico now. He's in Mexico hiding. Wow. Yeah, yeah. this guy is gross. So listen, I was doing Bikram yoga for years. By the way, it's great. Hot yoga is great. It's fine. I'm sorry that his name was attached to yeah. it. It's a little story. So I got a staph infection on my leg, which Ew. got so fucking bad. And I went to Motion Picture Health and Welfare. They couldn't do anything. Fuck. This woman said, oh why don't you God. go to the Dow Wellness Center over on the west side? It's a 27th generation Dow doctor, Chinese oh. guy. Wow. Gave me this tea, a combination mm-hmm. of this tea that I made at home, yeah. and acupuncture. And it was 
gone, gone yep. For real? in three weeks. Oh, yeah. And Shit. this was after the strongest antibiotics. Wow. And I still had a big scar, so I put a tattoo over it. It's nice. Fine. There you go. So funny. Yeah, no, it does work. I, uh, there's a guy named Dr. Quang. It was the only guy. He did those teas that smell so bad, and they mm. taste like right, caddis. Smell. They're the worst <laughs> tasting and smelling stuff. That you, It's so nasty. Right. It was the only thing that got rid of my yeast. I had a yeast all over my body. Which from causes, eating grain and everything, yep, right? From yeah. eating grain oh sugars my, God. And my whole life. Yeah, so I you, would you get like yeast sores or felt like it rashes? Was, what happened? Yes, it? I had hives all over my my skin became so sensitive oh God, I didn't want to be touched. Those. I get those on my feet. Uh. Yep, I didn't want to be touched. Uh, my eyes were dry. I had itchy skin. Uh, there's like so many symptoms of yeast. I was constantly getting yeast infections right after I had sex. Yeast infection. I know it sounds nasty, but it's true. No, tell yeah. it, tell it, tell it. And it, it makes everything dry. It's it's horrible. You can have yeast infections in your mouth, on your lips. What? People don't understand how bad it is, and women have it. Horribly. So if you're having like dry, itchy, horrible sex, that could be one of the reasons. Wow. Yeah. And it's our diet. Our diet is destroying us. I had a high ANA count. That stands for anti-nuclear antibodies, meaning I had an autoimmune disease. And this is what the nurse told me, not the doctor. You were in the early stages of a full-blown autoimmune disease, basically. So they Mm. said, no, you have one. I remember this. And I was, I remember going back from the doctor because the nurse told me I had one. I said, well, could I just not have high ANA? She's like, no, no, you have an autoimmune disease, probably lupus. So what this bitch said to me, (laughs) because I mean, bitch, bitch. But they're so brainwashed. No, right? she said, but you're not supposed to say that. So Most I went to UCLA, nurses are so had brainwashed. thousands of tests done, and the doctor said, no, you can, absolutely can have an, a high A count. It can be... You know, it could be a precursor to what's coming. Yeah. Um, or you could just live with a high end. I said, this nurse over at, it was a, uh, gosh, um, I, I want to. Cedars. I'm not, yeah, it was Cedars, but it was an off, off like. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. it was from, it, Cedars, uh, it was affiliated with it. I said, she told me I had it. I'm like, how dare you? Don't, you don't do that if you don't know what you're talking That's about. Right. Don't tell right. somebody that. So I lived with like fear and upset and I'm okay. So now, since I got off of wheat, mm-hmm. I got off of soy and I got off of sugar. How long? I've been off like eight years. Uh, all my all my A and A can can I don't have it anymore. Wow, gone. I don't have the, any, any high numbers like that. Wow. Yeah, so I was going to get This is a one. wellness show You know what? Today, yeah. And I, I've, I've known you for a year and a half now. I don't yep. think I've ever seen you sick. No, I got sick once in the last four years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. her eyes are really clear, Amazing. like crystal clear. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's incredible. Um, thank you for bringing yeah. your spirit and your energy on here yeah. this for morning. Real. I know now I have to give up wheat and sugar and yeah, all that. Yeah. I really do. I have such a hard time with it. Yeah. And every, I'm around sick people all the time. And mm. I don't have a flu shot. Yeah. Uh, in uh, fact, yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm not no, getting no. flu shots. Uh, no way. You know, I, I, I got so upset with this one person that was on my social media I've known for a while. Got the flu shot. Still got the flu. <laughs> uh, and how many times have I said... Too many people I, I know said, got the flu from after getting the flu shot. The yeah. flu, it, it's It's... It's bunk. It's yeah. it's BS. Yeah. You know, I don't think all vaccines are BS. By no, me. good. No, no, no. Neither. I, I think there's some because really we're bad okay, ones. right? Remember yeah. the ones we got when yeah, we were kids. We got six of them. Now That's there's, it. Now there's thirty eight of them. Really? So, yeah, there's thirty eight. So I, but no but the flu shot. I'm sorry. This mm. is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I watched my dad get it every year and get sicker and sicker and sicker. Wow. Um, and it and it can harm people with certain diseases. So yeah, of I, course it can. I that makes total it. sense. Yeah. I, I've had friends You're putting a disease in somebody yeah. through yeah. a fucking hypodermic needle. I, I have family members who get the flu shot every year. They're sick all throughout the year. They're sick every time somebody comes up with it. You're putting poisons in your system. Right. You're hoping your your uh, immune system can't handle it. No. Ugh. It's it's not wow. happening. It just grosses me I out. I love that you're not a full-blown anti-vaxxer. No, Those people get on my there's fucking nerves. There's certain vaccines that I think work. Um, We're doing know, good. We had some vaccines but, early but on. But I don't believe in most of the stuff that's out I now. I don't either. I think that there, it's, it's just for profit. It, and yeah. it's very scary. Of course it is. Yeah, but sure, there's some certain ones I think that are great. Yeah, absolutely. I have a conspiracy that it's for population control. I'm with you. I don't know what's in that shit. I'm I, with you. I thought YouTube was for that. I'm going to make one. I'm Just make general. One I thought Little Pump podcast. and Little Xan were for that. See, I don't know who any, these kids are anymore. Uh, I get exposed to I was looking at famous stuff. birthdays for it. today. Yeah. They're all like YouTube stars and internet stars. I don't serious? know who the hell anyone is. Oh my gosh. Like, the, are those famous people? For famous birthdays? I don't fucking well, know. Well, they are in that realm. I don't get it. I mean, you're getting paid, too. Those people are getting paid. YouTube Red is huge, yeah. right? Do you yeah. know anything about that? Like, yeah, like, actually, brand I'll, and I'll tell you something. YouTube Red, which is pretty freaking awesome, um, just put the Karate Kid series yeah. on 
Yeah. Yeah. And so it's everywhere. And I think it's great. I think they're bringing back stuff that, you know, needs to be. I think they're putting. I think Karate Kid has a lot of good elements of morality and growing up and standing up for yourself and not being a pushover. This is going to be funny. This is going to be kind of funny. It's a comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Will there be a Ralph Macchio in the back? There's already Ralph's in it. And so is uh, the guy who played Johnny. Billy Zapka. Are they fighting at this age now, too? Oh, nice. Get the fuck out of here. It's, it's, when it's is this? Awesome. It's hilarious. coming out in March. All right. Nice. I'm gonna bi- can I binge this? Wait, it is I wait, it's March. This. Is that this month? Jeez, it just turned March. Yeah. Ten episodes? I don't know how many episodes there are. It's exciting. Is it May? I, I have somebody I'm back in. of me like yelling March and then May in the same I'm in. I've seen the trailer. <laughs> okay, so the trailer's out. You can Listen, I am nice. sentimental for any old 80s stuff like that. The other night, Cheech and Chong movie was... Do you remember the Cheech oh and Chong movie? Oh, my God. So good. And they're all yeah. shot on the east side. And they're all disgusting and scummy and the worst for production sure. value. But I can't stop. Mm. Pee Wee Herman was in it. Was Cheech and Chong's next movie. Was it Pee Wee Herman in it? Pee Wee Herman was what? in it. He played the hotel... Uh, whatever he played a concierge in it. Oh my god, it was so. What good. did it ever happen? Don't that you time? get chills when you see stuff from our time when you were a kid and you just kind of watch stuff? Oh, you're like some, some old of it, yeah. LA, some yeah, of some it. of Colombo. Yeah. Yo, thank All you. Right. Well, I think it's thank you um, so much for bringing your energy and yeah, for real. For real. You're and your positivity and yes. good light thank and you. direction. Yeah. yeah, good orderly direction. Yeah, that's what God is to me. Yeah, good. Yeah. So we're going to um, wrap it up here. We've got a game. Oh, okay. We've got a game. All Would right. you rather? Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Help me out, Mike. Would you rather eat chicken? Okay. Or? Oh, this is good. Pork. No, I want to ha- I want to put an array of animal products Would out there since she's a vegetarian. Meat or? Mm. I'm going to leave this up to you because my mind goes to bad places. Would you places. rather eat meat or? Never be able to do your work again. Well, if I, I had to, Man, like this game got dark. I, I, don't even know what's I had happening. such a, like a fun idea, and I guess everything I, I just guess left I'd have my to mind. Eat meat because to my to my work is going to help more animals than just having right. one bite mm. of meat. Right. Um, you know, I, I think it's it's putting. I can't. It, it's weird. I, trying to eat eggs again after twenty four years was so hard for me. It yeah. was so because hard. of your consciousness. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because yeah. of what you're thinking. Yeah. Right. But yeah, if, yeah. if if you know, it's like it's like what I. Somebody asked me this too. It's like, would you eat McDonald's for a certain amount of money? Would you go ahead and eat all oh. that? Yeah, because then I would put that money back into saving more animals. That's right. Brilliant. So you have to look at the, you know, a bulk, you, right. you know, at the, the outcome and, and weigh it. That's right. brilliant. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, any money you would get from doing such a horrific act would just be more helpful for, for, you in know, being of service right. to others. Exactly. Right. Well, Carrie. Yes. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Where so can, this is so fun. Really? Where can people you. find you? Thanks Where can for, people seriously. find you? Um, you know, Carrie Kasem, and it's going to be redone. Gosh, CarrieKasem.com has everything. Has my foundation on it. Has my, you'll see my podcast. You'll see my face. I'm on Facebook a lot um, and Instagram. Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, I talk to everybody. So I really have most of my followers there, most of my radio people You are handle there. all that yourself or you have somebody that helps oh, you? Oh, no, that's I a don't lot. let anybody touch touch anything. Yeah, I, that's because right. I don't, I I feel don't let people you. write for me. Creative Control. That's right. I love it. That's right. I love it. Okay. Well, we want to thank Thailand Productions. Guys, thank you for rating and review the show. The ratings and reviews are starting to come again. They really help. Yes. They really help. So please rate and review. Thank you so much. Tune in next week for another next or another fantastic guest. Awesome guest. Yes. (laughs) I can't even speak. But you can sing, and that's all that matters. It is. I'm flustered. Yeah, I'd love you can really sing. sing. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Carrie, thank you again. You're welcome, Chelsea. And we out. We're out. We're out.